This is Kim O'Neill, also known as 131 Kimber, from Catonsville, Baltimore County, Maryland. When I first got on YouTube, really back in 2011, a lot of it was for personal entertainment, interest, education. At some point I got involved in the targeting being done by the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, uh, the FBI law enforcement, fire and rescue with civilian teams. Mainly for the last, since 2015, four years, I've been trying to explain something that was exposed when Jade Helm came out. Jade Helm, if you remember, was supposedly an exercise. But what you're not com comprehending is Jade Helm utilized a software program called Joint Airway Development and Execution. That Joint Airway Development and Execution is for deployment planners that it approves and manages and executes as they are scripted and written. Now, this is a little thing I've written about the Jade Helm Jade Point 2 software. It's nationwide and foreign, U.S. Army, NATO, and allies. Domestically, it's the FBI, DHS, FEMA. The CIA they're involved right up to their eyeballs along with the NSA. But the, the protection for this operation, which is running like an official operation, is coming from the FBI. They're the ones dealing with the street level court systems and the uh, fraud that's occurring at this level of society. Jade 2.0 software is part of the asymmetrical warfare. Asymmetrical warfare is warfare that unites the locals, the state, the federal government with the armed forces. It's showing up globally. Asymmetrical warfare is a global phenomenon. That's why you're seeing that militarization of police in every country. That's why that's coming out, out like that. Not that it's legal. It isn't. I, I uh, sort of disagree with Deborah Tavares on one point. They never made this legal because they used that neurological warfare to make it at all. To get it passed. To get people to accept it. You cannot attack brains with neurological warfare and call that legal. Now, are they operating like it's legal? Yes and no. They're operating like it's legal and an official operation, but they lie, hide, and deny what they are doing. So it, it's co contradictive to it's legal. This is part of the mastering the human domain and terrain. Joint Airway Devel Deployment Planner Development and Execution Software has integrated atmospheric waveforms integrated geological waveforms and what that means is signal forms that are emitted from those natural phenomena picked up in oscillators, spectrograms, grams, whatever instruments pick that up in a natural phenomena. The computer has the ability to imitate that waveform. That also includes integrated molecular waveforms, which are EMF signatures. Everything has EMF signatures, molecular EMF signatures. Your germs, your bacteria, your plants, your animals, your humans. They have access to complete weapon systems, both domestic and foreign. That has also, integrated neurology, integrated
biological waveforms, NSA personal data files. They took that NSA personal data and they created 3D representations, replicas, of every individual in society. Now they claim it's for to produce realistic at, realistic situations on their simulator. But what they have been using it for is personalized attacks. Biometric information is used like human GPS coordinates. Simple as that. It's also combined with software for surveillance, tracking, and signal warfare targeting. If anybody has a question whether this so these weapons exist, look it up. I'll provide you with plenty of links and sources to do the research. I've been suffering this with many others too long. All I am doing at this point is trying to get the warning out. There's a problem. Well, some people have been targeted with this and told they've been targeted. Everybody else did not get told. The RMT request for Jade Helm asked for individual and societal permission. So anybody out there thinking they're not affected in some way by this is fooling themselves. This is not rocket science, though it is quantum computers, it's quantum speeds. Yes, they've got the craze out there that can compete with quantums. So that's your multiple systems across multiple platforms. Jade Helm, remember this stuff? If you don't, go back to Level 9 News. She's the best one that explains this. Ron Johnson, he did a fantastic job till he just pissed off somebody the wrong way, probably about the 9-11, and he took his channel down. But that 9-11 was done with one of those deployment planners FEMA wrote four years earlier. Now the question is, did FEMA execute that deployment planner on September 11, 2011, 2001? which is in all likely what they did. They had the ability to run in real time. It's an autonomous system. Has authority up to a general for automated executions of deployment planners to run in real time. There's an option for combat weapon attacks utilizing the national defense systems, NATO and DHS within. They're using signal warfare, EMF spectrum, full spectrum warfare to create, command, and control real-time events and situations, both personal, geolocational, and societal. They can manipulate and modify atmospheric, geological, molecular, neurological, and biological waveforms for covert tax attacks that include a variety of choices, allow you to determine the duration and the level of the problem or issue, whether you slightly hurt somebody or you severely hurt somebody. Then they can specify the targets this illegal weapon system is being used to commit covert crimes on the public and individuals. Evidence is on their hard drives and mobile communications. They can come off of regular devices, acoustic devices, and use them for signal warfare as weapons. On my YouTube channel, I have playlists that have recorded D-Wave, Cray, the IBM Watson Autonomous Computing Systems, which is really your Alpha Zero, your Alpha Star, your Alpha Go, your Deep Mind, your Deep Blue. It, Watson, the AI Computing System, 
combined all that knowledge into a system. I have a playlist that goes into as much as I can from as many people. Believe me, these are not just anybody's. It's Harvard, it's Geospatial World, it's IBM Watson, it's people within the industry. University of California, um, Argonne National Laboratory, Los Alamos National. So it's not coming from just anybody. Even where it goes into China, Russia. North Korea doesn't mention it, but damn well are showing they have the same capabilities. The military, FBI, DHS, police, joint task force, weapons, systems, policies, tactics, protocols, and techniques. I've been watching this stuff for a long time now. You know, you watch it for years, you start seeing they're all using the same stuff. If you go to the Homeland Security Committee hearings channel on YouTube, it's interesting to look at all the names of the hearings they've had because it's about terrorism. You know, how can the federal government access? Accessing how the federal government can help, okay? Examining the U.S.-Mexico border. Accessing North Korea's risk to the homeland. Federal Protection, Protective Service. Uh, border security. Artificial intelligence and counterterrorism. TSA. Emergency management. Preparing America's law enforcement to protect the homeland. Protecting and securing chemical facilities from terrorist attacks. Um, go to their channel. I mean, check out my, my playlist. But darn well, do check out their channel. It, it explains how DHS got mixed into the military part. FBI and the CIA were obviously doing this a long time ago. The Joint Airway Development and Execution Software began, I'm pretty sure the Raytheon website said, in 1970. 